Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about a very crucial topic as far as country's economic development is concerned. Yes, we are going to talk about the foreign trade policy of our country. We are going to understand why do we require foreign trade policy and also what are the measures that government usually takes to increase our foreign trade that is basically our exports and also what were the key highlights of the foreign trade policy of 2015 to 2020 now when we talk about its meaning it is important for a country to excel in exports we all know we require foreign exchange reserves so in order to improve trade performance of a country okay the government forms trade foreign trade policy so it's very simple we have to increase our exports so that we have lot of foreign exchange reserves which we can use to fulfill all our import needs in india it is formed by ministry of commerce and industry for a period of 5 years so it is formed by ministry of commerce remember and industry and it is usually for a period of 5 years so the current policy of 2015 to 2020 has got over right the power or right to form a trade policy is conferred in the foreign trade act okay so the power to the ministry has been confirmed conferred in a foreign trade act of 1992 the last foreign trade policy was formed in 2015 as discussed for a period of 5 years till 2020 now what are the objectives of framing a foreign trade policy see to diversify india's export basket by ensuring that different sectors of the economy are able to achieve the global competitiveness okay we all know that we have three sectors which are contributing for in our economy agriculture manufacturing and service so we have we want to diversify our export basket okay so that we want every sector to be included okay in this foreign trade so the government take has taken certain measures in the foreign trade policy to achieve this so to increase the country's goods and service exports to 900 billion us dollars from 465.9 billion us dollars till 2020 so this was government's aim that we will ex- increase our exports in goods and services from this that is 465.9 billion to 900 billion us dollars now to increase india's shares of world world export from 2 to 3.5 percent till 2020 so our export was basically around 2 percent of the world's trade in Per, uh, in 2015-16, but government wanted to increase this till 3.5 percent. Also, aims to provide a regular appraisal mechanism for rationalizing the imports and thereby reducing trade imbalances. Yes, how do we check whether we are in a trade deficit or trade excessive trade? We have. We can use it. we can see this through balance of payment account which has all the basically which is an account of all the transactions of exports whether we talk about a service or our goods merchandise or our capital account transactions also now what are the foreign trade policy key highlights of 2015 20 to 2020 policy See, it basically provides a framework for increasing the exports of goods and services, as well as generation of employment, and in line with Make in India program of the government of India. So, government has a plan that we wa- we will be producing, offering other countries to companies to produce in our country all only, so that we don't have to incur any cost. or we can generate employment in a country also the trade policy also aims to enable our country to respond to a to the challenges of the external environment okay keeping in pace with the 
rapid, rapidly evolving international trading architecture and make trade a major contributor to the country's economic growth and development. So this basically is talking about the challenges that we face and the environment, be, in, be it in terms of the technological development, okay, or any kind of development in case whether in when we talk about in terms of cheaper labor and all so we want that we are in pace with everything we are not lying behind so government has followed certain measures in this policy so that we can increase our exports we can contribute to the country's growth through the increase in the trade through various sectors of the country now it also introduces, this is the most important thing, it also introduces two schemes, namely mercantile export from India scheme. So, mercantile export from India scheme is for the goods, specified goods and service export from India scheme is only for the services. So, these two schemes have been introduced in the FTP 2015-20 for improving exports of notified services and goods. Now, duty credit scripts issued under MEES and CEES and the goods imported against these scripts are fully transferable, transferable, okay. So, whenever we are, let's say, exporting goods, okay, to other country, countries and the value is beyond a level, then we get duty scripts, okay, we get certain discounts when we are importing the goods later okay so these duty scripts have a validity and we have to use it in a stipulated time to get the discount while we are importing the goods which can be through the reduction in custom duties and all okay all the types of duties that we generally have to pay while importing the goods or services activities. For grants of rewards under MEES, the countries have been categorized into three groups. Okay. Whereas the rates of rewards under MEES ranges from 2% to 5%. Under CEES, the selective services would be rewarded at 3% to 5%. So, this is very simple that if you want to get a reward under MEES, so the countries have been categorized in three groups. Okay. If you want to get reward, under MEES, okay, mercantile exports from India scheme, then 2 to 5 percent of duty scripts you get, okay. But when we talk about CEES, it will be varying between 3 to 5 percent discount basically through duty scripts. Now, what are this? There are several measures that have been adopted to increase procurement of capital goods from local manufacturers, okay, under the EPCG schemes by reducing specific export obligation to 75% of the normal export obligations. So, we have taken, government has taken certain steps, adopted them to increase procurement of the goods the capital goods basically through the local manufacturing only under this EPCG scheme and also by reducing the global obligation to 75% of the normal export obligation, right? Now, steps have also been taken to give a major boost to export of defense and high-tech items. So, defense and these types of high-tech items are given priority. Now, e-commerce exports of handloom products, leather footwear or toys and customized fashion garments through courier or foreign post office would also be able to get benefit of MEES for values up to INR 25,000, right? A number of steps have been taken for encouraging manufacturing and exports under 100% EOU, ESTP, STPI and BTP schemes. Okay, so these are basically the schemes that are take in, followed by the government in order to boost the exports 
एक्सपोर्ट ओरिएंटेड यूनिट्स और देर आर सर्टन जोन्स ओके विच आर मेड स्पेसिफिकली फॉर दो एक्सपोर्ट ओरिएंटेड यूनिट्स राइट so there are many schemes to promote exports the steps include a fast track clearance facility for these units permitting them to share infrastructure facilities permitting inter unit transfer of goods and services permitting to set up warehouses near the port of export and to use duty free equipment for training purposes okay so fast clear fast track clearance is very important there is lot of time which is wasted in clearances of good so government has made in certain facilities to make this easier okay now 108 msme clusters have been identified for focused interventions to boost exports okay now accordingly niryat bandhu scheme has also been galvanized and repositioned to achieve the objective of skill india initiative of government has a initiative that we want to skill the people of this give the skills to the people of this country okay through this scheme so there have been 108 msme clusters which are which have been identified okay now what is the conclusion India has effectively and efficiently formulated the foreign trade policy to promote exports in the country through several initiatives. The government of India has also tried to increase the exports of those products which have a strong base in the domestic market. The foreign trade policy also enables a nation to import certain products at the time of natural calamity or disaster. and therefore manage scarcity when demand is high by providing better quality and quantity of goods and it also assists in raising the standard of living and making commodities available at a lower cost and also better quality therefore the foreign trade rises and benefits all okay so basically it wants to say that we are focus is on increasing the exports okay it's through making infrastructural advancements making the technology better fast track clearances everything has to will be taken in account to increase the export to better of the trade performance of the country now let us practice some important questions see scheme is for mercantile services animals or none of these so sees service exports from india scheme is for services basically right now the next question is the target of increasing exports from was from 2% to how much percentage till 2020 so we all discussed that it was 3.5% till 2020 right so the correct answer is option c for this so this was all for today hope you enjoyed this lecture thank you for your time